та талхгүй байгаа гэсэн. Аа. Та өөрөө итэр зүйлсийг өөрөө итэрсэн байхад чухал байгаад байгаа юм аа. Тэгэхээр бид тэр хөө би бол бодморгүй байна. Яг бол би төрлөө санаа зовоод яах вэ? Яг хатц чи одоо аврах юм байна. Би санаа зовоод яах юм бэ? Хай би өөрөө хийчтэй юм аа хий. Өөрөө даалгавар бэлүүлээ. Хойч үедээ би үлдэх юмтай бай. Миний араас хүмүүс харамсдаг биш. Намаар багах гэж амьдэрдэг. Тэр амьдэрлээ би амьдэр чаддаг баймаар байна. Намаг дуурайс амьдэрч гэсэн. Бид нар харагдсан юм байх хэвээр байхгүй да. Яош өгдөг хүн а юу гэдэг а мосог дагаа яваад байсан ч гэсэн тэрэ дараа түүнээс өдгөл дуурайл болж харагдсан үлдсэн баггүй. Үлдсэн учраас хүмүүс тагсан юм аа. Үлдсэн учраас хүмүүс хүндэлсэн түүнийг. Тус түүнээс түүнд юу ч байхгүй байсан бол хүмүүс тэг тахгүй байсан баггүй. Юу гэдэг тахах юм? Өөрөө хоос амнцсан юм. Өөрөө хоос орилсон юм. Нэг нь хүндий чээжил гэж хэлэх бодлоо шүү дээ. Хай бохоо энийг бидэнд ойлгосон шүү дээ. Би бүлийн бол биш кэд төр хилжсэн байгаа танал. Би өөрөө тус амьдрал энэ удаагийн энэ том алхамууд гэсэн том том алхамуудыг алхаж байгаа. Би зүгээр өө ямар гоё эзэн бид төр хамт алхаж байгаа гэж би алхаагүй шүү гэж. Надад ухрах, гонирх, хоош суух тэр төр боди гэж хэлэх өдрүүд байсан юм аа. Тэгэхээр тэр өдрүүд нь маш богнохон байсан. Ягаад уу? Ягаад бас дайсны байсан бол жас тэр богнохон байх хэвээр байхгүй тэр үлдчих юм ч боломжгүй байсан. Тэр учраас бид нар яаж чадах болно. Тэр ялгаж уу бидний гарч байгаа юм аа. Амин. Тэрэс ирж байгаа өгсүүдийг энэ утай төрөлдөж өгсөөр байна гэсэн. Өнөөдөр энэ үндэсний төлөө та бүтээр босч ирээ. Үнэхээр босч ирээ. Харсан шүү бид нар харсан. Бид өгөөдөр ярьж ийн. Одоо өгөндөө эзэн байх цаг ирсэн гэсэн. Өгсүүдийг бид нар ярьж ийн. Бид нар тоонхилж ийн. Харин одоо тэр өгсүүд миний амьдралыг бүр эзэлж явна. Миний амьдралыг бүр тэр бүр дүүргэхт тийм цаг ирсэн байна. Амин. За хамтдаа болсон яг тэгээд үнэхээр өнөөдөр бас хуурт юм байна. So God is looking for not looking for but God is Let me try again. God is God is God. What about that? Тэгэж хэлээл ямар вэ? Start with the basics. Uh, God needs followers. Бурхан өмнө хөөгчнөр хэрэгтэй байна. Amen. And God finds them. Бурхан тэднийг бүр олдог өмнө хөөгчдөг. In a sense, in a way, few can do it. За цөөхөн хүн өмнө хөөгдөг байж бол. No. One Joshua. Яшуа гэж нэг байсан. One Gideon. Gideon. One Elijah. Elia. Uh, one John the Baptist. Yeah, one Baptist. One Jesus. Jesus needed. So it's not, it's not. I'm not saying that one can do everything. I'm saying that it might not. I mean, a lot might not be needed. Mm-hmm. Магадгүй би бурхан тийм олон хүн хэрэгтэй биш байх гэж хэлэх гэдэг. Sometimes we think, wow, if we were 3000, we would really influence the city. Заримдаа бид нар бид нар 3000 байсан байсан бол үнэхээр энэ хотод нөлөөлөх байсан гэж бодчих. Who knows? Maybe 50 can do much more. Гэтэл 50 хүн тэр 3000-аас илүү агуу зүйл хийх чинь нэг юм хэвлээ. Exodus chapter 1. Игэртэс гарсан нэгдүгээр бүлэгтэй. Pharaoh thought Pharaoh you would just be here that we have a serious situation now. За одоо энэ нөхцөл байдал бүр хэтэрлээ. Because these Israelites are becoming many. Энэ Израильчууд өсөөд одоо бүр маш их өсөж байгаа. Ихээр өсөж. They were multiplying. Үрчиж юм бүр. So Pharaoh was scared. Pharaoh тэдний өсөлтөөс найсан. That they might take over. Тэгэхээр өсөөд энэ нутгийг эзэлчихээд гэж байсан баа. So maybe sometimes we think like Pharaoh. Тэгээ магадгүй заримдаа бид нар фараон шиг боддог. We don't think like God, we think like Pharaoh. Бурхан шиг бодохгүй фараон шиг. We think that many can do it. Олон хүн ихийг хийж чадна гэж байна. But actually in Exodus chapter 1. Гэтэл Египет Египетээс гарсан нэгээр бүлэг. They were many. Аа. But they did not Израильчууд олоолаа байсан хэрнээ юу ч хийгээгүй байсан. Because they were slaves. Болоод байсан. 
mentalité. Even when Moses came with that wonderful message. The best message in the whole universe. That God wants you to come out of Egypt. Come out of the hard work. Out of unrighteousness. Out of pain and mud and hard work. Unfair regime. Humiliating situations. Disrespect for human lives. I want to take you out of that. And I will lead you to the country I have promised your forefathers. What a message is that? They should have. Celebrated for a whole week, day and night. But they couldn't take it. Because the, the work had been so hard. So the work did something to them. They were traumatized. So even there were many, they could do nothing. So Pharaoh was fearful for no reason. For no reason. And if you go to if you go to Dubai. In, Dubai, in Dubai, Dubai there are 75% of the population are foreigners. And you know what? The Emir is not afraid at all. <laughs> Can you imagine a country where 75% are foreigners? And they are like they work like slaves. But no rebellion, nothing. Because slavery harms you. So Pharaoh had nothing to fear. He thought the numbers meant something. And sometimes we feel like numbers mean a lot. But it took one Moses. And then they were out. The Pharaoh could not keep them in. I'm not saying that numbers are wrong. I'm just saying that few can do a lot if they are the right few ones. Amen. So don't dream about numbers. If God give numbers, then we'll take the numbers. Remember Jonathan David said, if you have ten, make the ten strong. If you have 100, make the 100 strong. If you have 2,000, make the 2,000 strong. But sometimes it's more difficult to make the 2,000 strong than the 10 strong. You understand that? So we are talking about the foreigners. Young ones, old ones, young ones, married ones, unmarried ones, no difference. He wants foreigners. He wants people with quality. And quality comes from him shaping us. That's the quality. When Adam and Eve were in the garden, they were foreigners. It was the beginning of the human race. But one day, God asked a question. Adam, 
Atama. Where are you? Chihana. Interesting question. Because God knew where he was. God knows where you are. Even if you hide in the bathroom, he knows where you are. <laughs> or if you hide under the bed, God knows. <laughs> Even if you hide inside the fridge, he knows you are in there. Freezing. Hiding away. But God said, Adam, where are you? Because Adam had been positioned to be a foreigner. And when God looked in that place, he was not there. He had left the place of being a foreigner. Now he was following the words of the snake. Instead of following the agenda of the Father. So, Adam, where are you? He was over there. What are you doing there? You should be a foreigner. People will come after you. You have to raise the standard in your life. I will speak to you. We have already spoken together. But now you are hearing another voice. The other voice has removed you from your place of being a foreigner. How many Christians are left that place? And God wants us back to that place. That was Adam's call. That was Eve's call. Be the fathers of the human race. After them, and after them, and after them, and after them. And after them. And because they will spread all over the earth, God's glory will spread over the earth. You know, the Bible says that the glory of the Lord will cover the earth. How could that happen? God's plan was this. I will put my glory inside of you. First I will shape you, I will form you. Because my glory cannot land on a garbage place. Cannot land on chaos. Cannot land on human thoughts and strongholds and Wrong emotions. This order it has to land on order. So God has to shape our lives. And the more we are shaped into the likeness of the Son, the more He can put the glory of the Son on the songs. Yeah. So shapes the man. Invest his glory into them. Then they multiply. And when they multiply, God's glory will spread. Yeah? It's not God's glory raining on the earth, no. God's glory must rain on us. Fill our hearts. Let your kingdom come. We receive the kingdom. The kingdom begins to shape us, regulate our lives. Then, then if we become foreigner and we multiply, then the glory will spread from me to my followers, from them to their followers. But because Adam and Eve left that place, and evil came into their hearts. When they multiplied, evil multiplied. Evil spread all over the earth. And God saw that. And he was sad. Because now, evil was spreading. He had to stop the spreading of evil. 
So multiplication is divine. But the, but the issue is what is multiplication? Is it God's glory? Or is it evil? That's why God needs followers. Huh? Shaves them. Forms them. Aligns them. Adjusts them. Remove some things. Replace disorder with order. And then, the more order, the more glory. Then they become the foreigners of a new generation. And glory spreads to them. Amen. That's God's plan. And we are part of that. So where are you? So my question tonight is, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? But I'm, I'm a believer. Yeah, but where are you? Where are you? Adam said, hey, I'm here, I'm Adam. I know you there. But you should be here. You should be a foreigner. Because your son should follow you. And their sons and daughters should follow them. And my glory should spread. My wisdom should spread. My holiness should spread. My compassion, my mercy should spread. Amen. So where are you? Where are you, Phil? Where are you, Mark? Where are you? That's a very important question. And when I read Joshua 24, I believe that's the question Joshua heard. It's not in the Bible, but I believe it. I believe Joshua heard something. That's why he said, hey, let's all present ourselves before God. Then he said, God, I'm here. Here am I. Me and my house. We will serve you. So here we are. We have entered the place of the foreigners. So I believe Joshua heard that question in the spirit. Where are you? Now, now you feel the whole land, I gave you the land, but where are you? Are you foreigners or what are you? Will you be the head or will you be the tail? Will, will you spread glory or you will spread evil and selfishness? That's my impression that Joshua heard that question. Joshua, where are you? Where is your people? Okay, let's all present ourselves. Then we answer the question. Here we are. We want to be foreigners. Continue to shape us. Continue to speak to us. Continue to lead us. Continue to deposit your glory inside of us. So we as a nation can be a foreigner for all nations. Because that was God's promise to Abraham. In you, all the families on the earth will be blessed. So Joshua 24 was a check up. Where are you? Do you still want to be the foreigners? I believe the question is here tonight. The question is here this week. Where are you? The question is for young people. Young people, where are you? God, I love you. I believe in you. My parents believe in you. Yeah, but where are you? Can I make you a foreigner? 
Би чамаг өмнө хүүхч болгож болох уу? God I'm only 17 years old. Гэтэл би чинь дөнгөж 10 талаар тийм шүү дээ. Can I make you a fool? Тэгсэн ч гэсэн би чамаг өмнө хүүхч болгож болох уу? God I'm just 20 years old. Би чинь дөнгөж 20 талаар шүү дээ. Can I make you a fool? Би чамаг өмнө хүүхч болгож болох уу? God is not interested in your age. Бурхан таны насыг ерөөсөө сонирхох байх. He's interested in shaping you. Харин таны хэлбэрчүүлхийг л тэр сонирхох байх. Make you a fool. Таныг өмнө хүүхч болгох гэсэн. So others can pick up the example from your life. Тэгснээр бусад хүмүүс таны амьдралыг үлгэж байгааг юм. Others can pick up the standard. Тэр стандартыг тэд нар барьж аав. Begin to follow you. Тэгээд дагаж ирсэн. And what you have will spread to others. Тэгснээр танд дотор байгаа зүйл чинь бусад руу. What they have will spread to others again. Тэгээд тэдэнд байгаа зүйл нь дахиад бусад руу гарах. Then we become unstoppable. Тэгээд бид нар зогсож шүү болж байгаа. Because one can fall, but then ten will rise. Yeah, here, even on such thin arm, we must just watch. Judas left, but another took over. Judas is here. He's there. But ten arm, he could turn back. If you don't want, God will find somebody else. Have a square for how old he may be. But I believe that you want. He's there. He could just turn back. Amen. Amen. So Adam, where are you? Adam, what's your hand in? Because he was called to be a fallen. Yeah, but here Adam, who will go to her daughter? Did you on the same? Did you ask that? He was there working in the wine press. That did you know the potter at the end of the day? And frustrated. Or something. And the angel came. This is the English teacher. Gideon, where are you? Gideon, at the hand of the next. I'm here. Frustrated. English. Gideon, you mighty man of valor. Yeah. Gideon, I'm from Abu Dhabi, Minex. Yeah, but I'm from the weakest. I'm the weakest person in the weakest tribe. Could be that the hungry soldier, or the hungry soldier, will be shot. I will make you a foreigner. Be sure to come and watch the fight. In the next chapter, the Arabs will fight. Hundreds following. Tony, get in the water, Mr. Sima. So, where are you? Because she saw that she had. So was hiding. Saw was not just. Where are you, so? Saw that she had. Even David. David. Samuel come to the house of Jesse. Uh huh. Samuel Jesse in his district. To anoint the new king after Saul. She had it. Saul did that. Look at one boy after the other. Because who would take new leader in her side? Big shoulders, muscles. Tom must be pretty sure he's not interested. Handsome. Terrific. It's not him. It's him. Not him. It's him. Not him. It's him. Not him. It's him. Where is he? Till Han and Han Han and Jesse. And Jesse. I have one more. He's in the field. No, he's in the field. Looking after my sheep. Me, I'm not here to judge. Bring him in. Tony got out of the field. He's the foreman. Till what do we do? So God is looking. Where are you? Here, but how? How are you going to go? How are you? This week, the question is in the air. In the sun, in the sun, in the water, it's going to be dark. I'm a member of the city church. Be on the hot day, swimming. What time about the hot day? The hot day swimming is shown. He knows. But there is still a question. Where are you? In your walk. Where are you? So I had to ask the question here tonight. So I had to ask the question here tonight. Because I can hear it. Yeah, it's being so strange. Because I can hear it. Yeah, it's being so strange. Between the lines. In Joshua 24. God wanted to know where are you? So yesterday we showed you how Joshua walked with walked with God. In all anonymity, behind the scene. Nobody knew what happened. Nobody. Saw him. He was not a public person. He didn't get as many women at the show. He get the attention to be sure. He watched Moses. He observed. He was close to the tent. He saw the people in the mountain. He saw the people in the mountain. He saw the people in the mountain. He saw the people building the golden calf. He saw Moses explode. 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 But all that was small bits of the puzzle. God was shaping him. The in bochunchen bochni toni kis perjusen juljusen ajti kan jijik jijik his footness. And one day, the new leader stepped forward on the scene. Tir no utikio achircha. That's how God works. Bochni inge jach. Amen. Amen. So tonight we continue. Zamna rabi tu urishu fasu. Let me see where we go tonight. I have to think about the next sessions as well.
Let me talk about, continue to talk about the foreigners. <laughs> and to explain a little bit what is the content of that. Because if you decide and you say, yes, go, mm -hmm. you will find me in the right place. I will begin to position myself. I will begin to be conscious that I don't live for myself. But there will be people following me. My example. I want to be conscious of that more and more. It's not about me going to heaven. It's not about me being, being blessed year after year, Sunday after Sunday, cell group after cell group. It's about me becoming a forerunner. becoming a forerunner. Not just a runner. But the foreigner, so somebody is running after me. Let that consciousness mm -hmm. enter your head, enter your heart, that your life is important. Sometimes we say to people, you know, your life is so important. How? That's why it's important. Because others look at you. That's why it's important. Because maybe five others will follow you. That's why it's important. Parents, your life is important. Why? Because you have children. Oh, I'm an important person. Yeah, because you have four children or two children. And they watch you. They read you. Even they don't look at you, they read you anyway. They observe you. Even they play on the ground or they draw clowns on a piece of paper. They are still listening. When they come home from school, they can sense the atmosphere is tensed. Yeah, that's why your life is important. That's why your couple life is important if you are married. If you are not married, then your friends will pick up certain things. Your colleagues at work will pick up certain things. Your integrity, your love of truth, your respect for authority, your diligence at work. You don't come late, you come on time, you are prepared. Can you say me to that? Your colleagues will read you. If you are disciplined or you are a chaos. You are a tsunami. All over the place. Doing nothing, doing a lot, but nothing. They will read that. That's why your life is important. Because your life speaks. Even if you say nothing, your life still speaks. That's why your life is important. So when you say your life is important, oh yes, I know my life is important. For what? Because others looking at you. That's what Jesus said. From the beginning, you are the light of the world. So people see the light. Hopefully you shine light and not darkness. 
You are the salt of the earth. Because salt is tasted. If salt is not, does not taste, what did Jesus say? Throw it out. You can walk on it. No value. So it has to be tasted, it has to be seen. Are you with me? But I don't want people to follow me, I want them to follow Jesus. That's a Christian nonsense. It's not true. Oh, just Jesus. Not me, not me, Jesus. It's not true. The Bible says we are the body of Christ. Period. Yeah. I can see your body. Not only your head. Your head is visible, the body is not invisible, it's visible. Can I shake your hand? No, I have no hand. My, my head. Okay, shake your head. We are the body of Christ. Amen. Amen. Taste and see that God is good. Where to taste? Taste her. Yeah, taste you. Find out. Oh, good, good taste. Oh, I better be a friend of her. I will visit her. I will ask her questions about life. I will ask questions about future. Amen. Amen. So you know, no, it's not me. You know, no, don't follow me. Follow Jesus. That's nonsense. It's not even biblical. Biblical, that's Paul said, follow me. Christians have a problem with that. I said to my sons and daughters, follow me. As I follow Christ. If I let him go, I'm a dangerous person. But if I follow him, you can see, you can read that on my life, that I am a Christ follower. If you're a parent, you don't say to your children, follow the neighbor. Follow me. We are, I'm your dad, I'm your mom. Don't follow us, follow the school teacher. No, follow us. Eat your soup. Make your homework and go to bed. Follow us. Follow our values. Follow our good lifestyle. Follow our walking truth. Follow our standard. Follow our good habits. Learn from us. If they don't learn from you, who should, should they learn from? From you. Yes. So we have so much Christian nonsense. Of course, of course, that's why God has to shame us. Because there must be something to follow in our lives. Not to follow the person as a person. To follow what God has done in that person. Get that legacy. Hear what they say. Pick up their wisdom. Look at them when they go through storms in life. Whoa. They're all wet. <laughs> because of the waves. They're still rowing. Always they're still rowing. Yeah. I will learn from them. Amen. 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 So foreigners. So let's talk about foreigners. Hmm. Okay, let me give you some points. Are you ready for that? Yes. Forerunners are given, are given unusual intimacy with God. 
өмнө гүрчнөр бурхантай юр бусын дотн харилцаатай байдаг. Өмнө гүрчдэд бурхантай харилцах юр бусын дотн харилцаа өгөгддөг. За өгөгддөг гэж биш үү за? За гивэн өмнө гүрчдэд бурхантай харилцах юр бусын дотн харилцаа өгөгддөг. Foreigners are given unusual intimacy with God. За өмнө гүрчлэг бурхантай харилцах юр бусын дотн харилцаа өгөгддөг. So if you say yes God I want to be conscious of that in my life. Тэр та тгээ бурхан минэ би өмнө гүрч гэдгийг ухамсарлаж амьдрая гэж шийд юм. I don't just want to be a church member. Би зүгээр сүмийн гүшүүн байна. I don't just want to be a meeting goer. Би зүгээр нөгөө цуглалтанд хамрагдагч байна гэх юм. I want my life to multiply. Ди өөрийнхөө амьдралыг үржүүлэх хүсэл чинь. But I don't want me to multiply. Гэхдээ би яг энэ байгаагаа өөрийгөө үржүүлэх мэрэг байна. That's enough we want. Okay. Ганц л ийм хүн байхад хангалттай. That's more than enough. Ти хангалттайгаас илүү. But I want you to work on me. Ти мучраас таны ганц дээр амжилттай сэтгэсэн чинь аа. Тэгснээр үржүүл үржүүлүүштэй юмс миний дотор би болох. And God hears. Бүх үнийг сонсох тоо. We say okay. За conclusion to me. Надруу ойрт өдөрч. Conclusion to me. Надруу ойрт. Amen. Amen. So we will be given unusual intimacy with God. Бурхантай харилцах юу бусын дотн харилцаа өгөгддөг. That's why we what Jesus meant when he said to the disciples. Jesus таалтагч нартаа хэлэхдээ if you keep my word. Хэрэв та нар миний тушаалыг сахидаг бол if you love me and keep my word. Таанар намаг хайрладаг бол миний тушаалыг сахина гэсэн юм. The Father will love you. Тэгэхийн бол эцэг таанарыг хайрлах гэсэн. And we will come to you. Тэгээ бид чам дээр очно бас. That's John 14. I think I have explained this verse before. Өмнө нь энэ шиг би тайлбарлажсэн шиг санаж. Oh, this verse means so much to me. Миний хувьд энэ маш үнэ цэнтэй шиг. It was such It was almost a revolution for me. Миний хувьд бүр илчлэл гэсэн. 1423 Jesus answered him. If anyone loves me. За 14:23 He will keep my word. Хэрэв хин нэг нь намаг хайрлуул тэр хүн миний үгийг сахиж. My father will love him. Миний эцэг түүний хайр. And we will come to him. Бид тэр хүн рүү очиж. And make our home with him. Түүнтэй хамт өөрсдийн орон байраа байгуулна. What does that mean? Энэ юу гэсэн үг юм бэ? Eat with us, drink coffee. Бидтэрсэн кофе уваад хоол дээл гэсэн үг юм уу? He will come to us make his home. Тэр бид нар дээр ирээд орон гэрээ байгуулж байж байгаа. Intimacy, home is intimacy. Энэ юу гэсэн үг юм бэ? Дотнчлал, дотн харилцаа нэлээд байж. If you love me, you keep my word. A father will love you and we will come close to you, you will come close to us. Өөрөөр хэлбэл юу гэсэн үг вэ? Хэрвээ чи намаг хайрлах юм бол миний үгийг сахих юм. Миний үгийг сахих юм бол эцэг чамаар хайрлах. Тэгээд бид хамтдаа чам дээр очиод бид чам руу ойлтон чи бид нь лөө ойлтно гэж байна. Аамин. Аамин. He will give us that special access. Тэр бид нарт энэ онцгой хаалгыг нээж өгөх болно. Unusual intimacy. Юу гэсэн дотн байх. We can talk with him, he talks with you. Бид түнтэй ярьдаг, тэр надтай ярьдаг. That's why we make youth conferences to help the young people get into that. Тийм л учраас бид нар залуу хүмүүсийг энэ байр дээр авчих гээд залуучуудын конференц хийгээд байгаа. I entered that place when I was 40 years old. Four zero. That's late. Би 40 настай байхдаа өөрөө энэ харилцаар орсон. Оройдсон байсан. That's too late. Хитэрхий оройдсон байсан. I want young people to get in when they are 14. Харин би залуу хүмүүсийг 14-тэй байхдаа энэ харилцаар оросон гэж хэлсэн. Instead of 40. 40-тэй болсныхаа дараа биш. But it's okay. Whatever if we enter we enter whatever the age. Тэ бид нар тэгтээ яг угаса нэг энэ харилцаар орсон л орсон тэр. It's much better to enter when you fall. Хамаагүй л дээ. Гэхдээ залуу байхдаа орох юм сайн байх байх. Тэр бол тэндээс цааших бүх амьдрал нь яг тэр дотн харилцаа дотор явдаг байх. So I ended when I was 40. Тэ би 40-тэй байхдаа би энэ дотн харилцаа. Би баяртай байсан, бурхан баяртай байсан. My wife was happy because I changed my situation. Я тэр би өөрчлөгдсөн болохоор. I became a good husband to her. It was about time. Тийм цаг хугацааны to become a good husband. Сайн өхөр болохоор надад цаг хэрэгтэйс. Тэр энэ оройдсон гэсэн. We can help young people 
Follow us. Come with me. Be with us. Be with us. Come with me. 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 Come with And the more you look like his son, the more we begin to multiply and bring people to you. First Timothy. First Timothy. So it's second Timothy. Chapter 3, verse 10. You, however, meaning Timothy, you, you, Timothy, however, mm -hmm. you have followed my teaching, mm -hmm. my conduct, my aim in life, my faith, my patience, my love, my steadfastness, my persecutions, my sufferings. Харин чи миний сургаал төлөв байдал зорилго итгэл уужин сэтгэл хайр тэвчээр хавчлах зовлонг дагсан. Now we may think, ooh, that's a little bit too much. За бид нар нач арай дэмжиж байгаа юм шиг үгээ бодож байна. Too much of me and my and me and my and me and my everywhere. Paul арай дэмдэв миний амаг ингэсэн хаа сайг үгээ арай хэлтрүүлээд байгаа юм шиг. Paul understood something We didn't. We have no understanding. But she said, "You have followed me." Then verse 14. But as for you, continue in what you have learned. So you have followed me, now you continue. Because at the end of the day, it's not about me. It's about your work with God. Why? Why? Because after you, there will be another generation. That's how they thought. That's how, that's how they were conscious of things like that. So serious. Continue what you have learned. And Knowing from whom you learned. And how from childhood you have been acquainted with the sacred thing, writings. Uh-huh. So it's you and your parents and your mother and your grandmother he spoke about. So foreigners are given unusual intimacy with God. Amen. That's good news. That's very good news. Because we have lived without him. Too, too much. We are with him, then we run away, then we run back, like a dog. I don't like dogs. But now, all my children have dogs. They bring all these animals. <laughs> I thought I could live an animal-free life. One for the dog. Okay, one, the exception. The other bull one. The third bull one. What did I want to say with that? I don't remember. I lost it. Anyway, so that's good news. Yeah, the dog, yes. Dogs, I mean, so the other day, I told them, because they asked us, can you, you know, look after the dog from time to time? They said, yeah, my wife will. But one day I have to do it. Can you believe it? Oh my, the worst day in my life. Look at that thing there on four legs. 
нэг өдөр би нохой харахаас өөр аргагүй болсон гэнэ. Дөрөв хүмүүстэй аргагүй хараад би чамд дургүй. Чиш надад дургүй байгаа би нүднээс ч харч байна. Тэгээ надад бол хамаагүй. Надад дургүй хэвээр яваа. Тэгээ би тийм нохой таа явах гэж тавьсан. Нөгөө юм уу яа хүзэрч. Би заримдаа христчид яг юм баха гэж боддог. God God has the long thing in his princess back from that. Oh, hey, you could such shit here. Hey, hey, that's all. And then we run again. Then we run again. Then we run again. Then we go back to church. Oh, pastor, I'm back. Then we go back to church. Pastor, I'm back. Pastor, I'm back. Yeah, until when? Then we go back to church. When is next time you are leaving again? Then we go back to church. How can God be anything? solid and stable. Бурхан ийм нөхцөл байдал яаж баттай, тогтвортой юм байх юм бэ? Don't be a dog, be a child of God. Битгий нохой болоорэ, бурхны хүүхэд болоорэ. Be a mature son and daughter. Төлөвшсөн хүүгөө тогтоод нь ол. Walk with him with consistency. Тууштайгаа алхдаг бурхан. Be conscious. Ухамсралтайгаа. Whoa, I have to be responsible. Би харилцахтай хэвээр байна гэдгийг ухамсралтай. How to be responsible? Be responsible. That's maturity. Is to be responsible, be conscious of responsibility. If you are an architect, you have to think responsibility. You build a house for somebody. It's not a dog house. It's a human house. People will live there. There will be a baby maybe in some of the rooms. You better think like that when you draw on the paper. There are stairs. You have to think the stairs must be strong enough. For wild children to run forth and back. If you are a mechanic, you fix a car, you have to think. This man will take the car on the motorway. He will drive 150 kilometers. If you change the wheel, you make sure the wheel is fixed. Тэгээд дугуйгийн солихдоо сайн ингээд бүхлэх хэвээр шүү дээ гэж тэгж бодож ажиллах. Your responsible. Энэ чи харилцсан. The wheel just goes off, the man will kill himself and kill the whole family. Тийм тэгээд тэр нөгөө дугуйг сайн бүхлэх хүмүүс болоод хурдтай авч байгаа бүх салбар. The responsibility is important. Тэр энэ харилцлага гэдэг чинь маш чухал. Yes, it's important. Чухал. I say it's important. Чухал гэж хэлдэг. There's gonna be somebody he wants to give you Яагаад гэхээр бурхан танд хэдэн хүмүүс их give you but I trust you итгэмж итгэж өгмөөр байх юм. Even our children don't belong to us. Бидний хүүхдүүд бидний хөшөө шүү дээ. It's not your children. Таны хүүхэд биш. They are entrusted to you. Харин бурхан зүгээр танд итгэж тэдний харилцаа. Тийм учраас та тэдний харилцаа. So you are a foreigner for them. Бидний хувьд та өмнө хөгжсөн. You will value it. Тэдний дотор та өмнө зүйлсийг бий болгож. Өөрийнхөө өмнө зүйлсийг өөрийнхөө өмнөний хүмүүсийг байгуулдаг. Өөрийнхөө хайрыг the best you have өөртөө байгаа хамгийн сайнаа тэд нарт ингэ дамжуулж өгдөг боловсрал good habits good standards зуршлууд стандартууд amen we have to be conscious of it энийг бид нар ухамсарлах хэвээр that's what god says if you are serious like that гэвэл та ийм ухамсартай байх юм бол come close to me над руу ойрт гэж тэр тэр i will do something with you би чиний амьдрал ажилна so don't run away with it Тэр үргэлж ингээ хаасайгүй бүгд ирэхгүйгээ What was it, Midianites? I think it was the Midianites. Every time the Israelites had worked hard for a good harvest, Midianites came together with them. Year after year. So one day God decided, we have to change that. 
Hvad siger han? I have to find someone. I hende egentlig bare selv. And he found someone. Det er det, der er også Who was hiding. Det er det. Og der er nogen, som er sådan. But he was no, he was no nobody. Hvis det gik jo hende, hende spiser ikke en bærer på hjemme. He was already. Det er en hel del, der trapper det. That's a problem. It's not a problem. Sometimes being married is the problem. That's another story. Okay. So yeah, you. And then Gideon said. Yeah, I know. Because you have already sent prophets. But why is nothing happening? You are the one to make it happen. Where are you, Gideon? He was in. He was into false humility and too weak and too young and too this too that. He don't care. He was hurt. He didn't care about the other person. He didn't give them. He didn't ask for them. He didn't ask for them. He didn't ask for them. In resignation, it cannot happen. He don't even get. We have all the stories from our fathers. It's good man. He took two good years and he came to the point where the point is. God sent prophets to us to speak. Nothing is happening. So he was in a place of 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 he was Disrespect to himself. Valueless. I'm valueless. My life has no value. That's where he was. The smallest one in the weakest tribe, the smallest tribe. Then he was in the place of resignation. We heard the prophets. Our fathers told us the story how God took them out of Egypt. We know all that. It's good man. Nothing happens. So it was in a place of valuelessness, in a place of resignation. So the question was, was where are you? Because you are a man of valor. Okay. So, what is the next thing happening? Let's go to Judges chapter 6. 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 So the angel, there is a conversation taking place between the angel and Gideon. Okay, the angel said to him, the Lord is with you, mighty man, and so on. Okay. Then Gideon said to him, please sir, if the Lord is with us, blah, blah, blah. Then the Lord turned to him and said, go in this might. Verse, go in this might of yours. Verse 14. Verse 15. But Gideon said to him, Please Lord, how can I say this way? Verse 16. And the Lord said to him, I will be with you. Then he said to the angel, If now I have found favor in your eyes. There is a conversation. Can you hear that dialogue? That's the place of intimacy. Yes, Gideon is struggling. 
одоо зөрчилдөж ирсэн өмнө let's sometimes ask for them заримдаа би ч гэсэн ингэ зөрчилдөж let's sometimes use for them та ч гэсэн тэгдэг but he was in a place of unusual intimacy гэсэн өртлөө тэр ээжээ бурхантай юу бусын дотно харилцаа өрнөж байгаа has a dialogue with an angel тэр ээжээ бол харилцаа ярьж байгаа бурхантай өөртөө харилцаа ярьж байгаа Some people say this was Jesus talking with him. Зарим хүмүүс их тий Есүс энд түүнтэй ярьж исэн гэж. Maybe it was I don't know. Магадгүй тийм ч байж магадгүй. So this young man in a place of valuelessness, in a place of total resignation, the weakest in the smallest tribe. Энэ залуу хүн хамгийн баг овгийн хүн хамгийн баг нь ямар ч үнц хэмгүй бууч хөд бэлэн болцсон байгаа энэ залуу хүн. Personal encounter with God. Бурхантай хувьчлан бүр нүүр тулан болсон. The dialogue with him. Тэгээд бүр харилцан ярилцсан. Yeah, you say, then he say. Тэгэрж яриад, тэр яриад, тэгэрж яриад. Wow, how many of us have that? Бидний хэдэн ийм харилцаа мэдэх вэ? That's the place of unusual intimacy. Юу бусын батан харилцаа гэдэг чинь энийг хэлээд. Very unusual. Маш юу бусын. Moses had that. Моса ингэ харилцсан. So is God face to face. Бурхантай нүүр нүүрээ харж яриад. Because Moses was a foreigner. Моса өмнө хөвч байсан. The people follow him. Хүмүүс хүмүүс түүнийг давж исэн. Why did God give him a place in his intimacy? Бурхан яагаад түүнд энэ дотно орчныг өсөлтөлсөн? Was about to become a fallen. Yeah, the Gideon woman goes to the cross. He will kick the Midianites, Midianites out of the country. Yeah. The Gazer not plus Midian should be zero to nine hundred. Not him only, but he plus three hundred. The Gazer a bit short. Two years, two thousand four hundred and fifty seven. You hear what I'm saying? So if you take, now I'm not sure. We don't know how serious he was, how conscious he was of his role as a foreigner. Mm-hmm. But there was something, I believe, which qualified him. Even he felt valueless. Mm-hmm. He resigned. But he was still thinking. God, how can you do that? You took our forefathers out of Egypt. Та манай эцгүүдийг Египтээс гаргасан шүү дээ. You should keep the Midian as out of here. Та энэ газар утас Midian шүүдийг зайлуулж чадна. God you sent prophet after prophet to tell us it will happen. Та бүр шүүдүүлэгчдээрээ дахин дахин ингэж хөдөлгөөнгийг хэлсэн. Гэтэл яагаад энэ зүйл чинь болохгүй юм бэ? Why did God was working on him? Тэгээ бурхан түүний дотор ямар нэг байдлаар ажиллаж байгаа юм бэ? Түүний дотор зүрхэнд нь оюун бодлт нь бүл явцод болж ирсэн байна. God was preparing him. Бурхан түүний бэлтгэж байсан байна. To become conscious that you are the one. Чи тэр үү? Нэг тэр чөлөөлөх нэг нь чи шүү дээ гэж гэдэг дуудлагт түүний бэлтгэж байсан байна. Give you others. Би чамд босд хүмүүс юм гэж байна. Destiny friends. Би чамд хувь тавилангийн найзуудыг өгөх болно. Amen. So God will give us. Бурхан бид нарт unusual intimacy. Юу бусын дотн харилцаа бүгэн. That's what Jesus said today. Mm-hmm. If you love me. Тийм учраас Есүс хэлсэн хэрэв та нар намаа хайрла миний үгийг сахих юм бол. What does that mean? Keep миний үгийг үгийг сахих юм. Is not read the Bible. Библийн уншин гэсэн үг биш. Oh, if you read one chapter every day. Oh. Би өдрөө олон нэг бүлэг уншдаг шүү дээ Библийг бас. Good news. Сайн мэдээ. You will shake the nation. Surely you will shake the nation. Та үндэсний шууд сэлсэрэх юм байна. Is keeping his agenda in your mind his plans in your mind in you so we make a porchni tulwlgo hutlbrudig өөрийнхөө толгоод ингээ байх байх юм what is god's word for you he will take us porchni үг улан батар зэрүүлсэн porchni become the foreigner тэр юу юм бэ гэхээ өмнө өвч байх amen your life will multiply тэгээ та нар амьдрал үржих болно та нар үржих юмс гарах болно amen amen so judge judges chapter 6 is about that За тэгэхээр шүүгчд зургаар бүлэг энэ тухай ахнэ. Yeah, after that. За энэ дараа in the Yeah, yeah what was it? That? 36. Тик. 36. Then Gideon said to God. Тэгээ Гидеон бохонд хэлж байгаа. Tell me this like, you know. Gideon said to God. Gideon bothered him. He's talking with God. Bothered him. If you will serve Israel by my hand, as you have said, 
Behold, I will lay, I'm laying a fleece of wool on the threshing floor. If there is dew on the fleece alone, and it's drying on all the ground, then I shall know that you will save Israel by my hand, as you have said. Whoa, man. I call that a very bold man. Telling God what to do. God, if you want to use me, this is my plan. That's the place of intimacy. Otherwise, God would have said, Who are you? <laughs> so, God, watch me. Put a fleece on the floor. You see the fleece. The fleece if the fleece is wet, but the ground around the fleece is dry, then I will believe you. That's a very intimate conversation. Are you watching this? No? Unusual. That's unusual. I'm not sure Moses said that. So God allowed him to come that close without hitting him or destroying him. So you are just a proud person. Who are you to give me, you know? Verse 38. And it was so. When he rose early next morning, squeezed the fleece, he wrung enough dew from the fleece to fill a bowl with water. But the conversation was not over. Gideon said to God, God, I have one more thing to tell you. Remember the fleece? God, you remember the fleece, please? Now put the fleece on the ground. Now the ground must be wet and the fleece must be dry. Do you get that? Is that clear enough? This is an unusual conversation. And God let it happen. Why? Because that man was so important. <laughs> so he said, no problem. I can make that happen. <laughs> I can make anything happen. I can make you wet and you are dry and you are wet and you dry. <laughs> Tell me what to do when I make that happen. <laughs> Because God had to bring him to that place of becoming a foreigner. Move him step by step because he was not there. Gideon, where are you? I'm valueless, I reason. This is not possible. Okay, go. Come with me. Talk with me. Are you going to get it? But it will happen if you're serious with me. Conscious of your place in the church. That's Sunday morning is so important. It's not just a message. It's more than that. It's training foreigners. We don't need foreigners inside the church. We need foreigners outside the church. Inside the church, that's the, the next generation of the fathers. That's why Hebrews 12 says, the church is the church of the firstborn. Which means, in this house, the firstborn, the spiritual fathers are the pastors. 
And you are the next, their next generation. But when you go to your, to your own world, to your own home and profession, they are the firstborn. Guess who is the firstborn? You are the firstborn. And God must give you your second generation. But you have to come back here to become a foreigner. Otherwise, why should God multiply you? Why should God, why should God multiply me? If I'm not shaped in the likeness of Christ. Are you with me? When I am in Malaysia, I'm the second, I'm not the firstborn. My spiritual parents are the firstborn. But when I go back to Herning, my church is my next generation. And when they go back to their home and their work, they are the first generation. Are you with me? That's why we need, we need this unusual intimacy. Are you listening to me? Yeah? So if you if you become conscious of that, that's why church is important. What is a foreign church? I said yesterday night. Because I said to you, God needs foreigners and God needs foreigner churches. When I got home, I asked myself, what is that? This is what it is. A foreigner church is a church where foreigners are made. Number one. That's a place where foreigners are made. That's why this house is so important. Number two, a foreigner church can be an example, a model for other churches. Understand? Two things, two issues. One is a place where foreigners are made. Second, a foreign church is a church we can, which can become a model for other churches. Okay, number two. Okay, is it? Okay. They, how was that? They will face, no, they face high demands. Foreigners face high demands. Oh my, I'm not sure I want to be a foreigner then. I will leave the church tonight. <laughs> if this is a place where foreigners are made, I'm out here. I don't need high demands. You know, all the parents here in this room, you face high demands. You have two girls. Yeah, so what? It's two lives. It's two human lives. Entrusted to them. If you think about it, it's a very high thing. It's scary. Sometimes you know we just make the children and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Everyone of us is a human life. An original person. With a 
unique personality, unique skills. God knew them before they were conceived. God has a unique plan for every one of them. What kind of demand is that? It's a very high demand. Maybe it's the highest demand to be given to a person. To entrust, entrust you with the lives of people, of persons. I would say that's the highest demand. This is not even that high. Because we become foreigners for others, they are responsible for their lives. But children, children are not responsible for their lives. We are responsible for their lives. They cannot look after themselves, we have to look after them. They cannot protect themselves, we have to protect them. They cannot bless themselves, we have to bless them. So to be a parent is a higher demand than this. Are you with me? I don't have a lot of children. God has entrusted me with spiritual sons and daughters. But I'm not responsible for them. They are responsible for themselves before God because they are adults. But our children were we were fully responsible for them. That's a higher demand. So when Christian said to me, this is this is a church for the elite. <laughs> no, you are already, if you are parents, you are already the elite. God has put precious human lives in your hands. That's even more responsibility. Think about that. So foreigners will face High okay, let's go back to Gideon. Gideon chapter 6, verse 25. That night, the Lord said to him, Take your father's bull and the second bull, seven years old, pull down the altar of Baal that your father has and cut down the Asherah that is beside it. Build an altar to the Lord your God on the top of the stronghold here with stones laid in due order. Then take the second bull and offer, offer it as a burnt offering with the wood of the Asherah that you shall cut down. Yeah, so the first word God said was, you mighty man of valor. And it took, took some time to convince him. But, uh, okay, 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 okay. 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 mighty man of valor. I will kick out the Midianites. All right. <laughs> I don't know how, but let's see. So he was ready. And God said, Good. Now you go home. You take the bulls. And you kill the bulls. And you cut off the Asherah statue of your dad. And you offer the bulls on the wood. And you make a burnt offering. Go. <laughs> Why did you say that? The first time you called me, mighty man of valor. It's like you had to sign the contract first and then discover what the contract was about. <laughs> so 
Sign the contract. Mighty men of valor. Pool number one, pool number two. <laughs> your father's idol. Destroyed the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, but you son. Which I did it or That's a hide My father, man. It's he I will be the next offering. <laughs> <laughs> After I offer the two bulls and destroy the statue and the next one. <laughs> yes. So he had to do that. Verse 27. So Gideon took 10 men. Gideon Aaron starts God told us to me to do that alone. Let me bring some friends. So instead of one offering, there will be 11 offerings. <laughs> we will all die together. <laughs> okay, we continue to read. Are you still here? <laughs> and they did as the Lord had told him. But, because he was too afraid of his family and the men of the town mm -hmm. to do it by day, he did it by night. That shows that for Gideon, mm -hmm. that was a little bit too high. So he took the contract, two footnotes, small letters. Number one, I will not do it alone. I will bring ten friends with me. Yeah, let's high five. Well, let's go do it. Footnote number two, not by day. Because the whole village will be there. God accepted it. But God knows. We are not supermen. The friend of mine of me said once, let me quote him, better to do the right thing worried than the wrong thing brave. That's a good one. I even put it on my Facebook page. Better to do the right thing fearful than the wrong feel, the wrong thing unfearful. fearful. God was okay with the two footnotes. It was a hiding room. From time to time, you and I, we will feel, whoa, this is a high one. Can I do that? Am I brave enough to do that? Am I stable enough to do that? Am I peaceful enough to do that? Or will I be totally destroyed, devastated for weeks after that. Yeah. Some of you know what I'm talking about. You know, oh, oh God wants me to do that. But, uh, footnote number one. <laughs> I will do it next week, not tomorrow. God, give me a week to prepare myself. Anybody knows what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, some, yeah. some high demands. You shake and I shake. 
We postpone it maybe a couple of days. One day we go for it. And we kill that bull. Take the bull by the horn and kill it and eat it and whatever we do. And then, wow, it feels so good. You cry maybe a couple of days. Or, oh. Verse 28, then we have a break. When the men of the town rose early in the morning, behold, the altar of Baal was broken down, and the Asherah, he said it was kept down, and the second bull was offered on the altar that had been built. What he feared the most just happened. Sometimes we cheat people, we pastors, we cheat people. Cheat. 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 Cheat, yeah. Not financially. We, we, show you. We, show. No, we don't cheat financially. We have financial integrity. But sometimes in our words, we cheat people. I have cheated people like that. Because we said to them, if you do what, what God asks you to do, everything will be okay. And sometimes the thing to fear the most will Sometimes people came back to me saying, you said everything will be okay. It's much worse than before. Thank you for your advice. Gideon could go back to God and say, God, hey, mm -hmm. let's talk now. Let's talk about this contract. <laughs> you asked me to sign without knowing. Now I did it. I am the next offering. The village will crucify me. I told you. I told you. It happened. It happened. I was right. Yeah. So we have to be careful what we say to people. Because sometimes things don't come out right. Not immediately. Sometimes everything is fixed immediately. Sometimes it does not. Sometimes it becomes worse. But if you keep walking, like he God will change the situation. Can we finish the story? <laughs> and they said to one another, Who has done this thing? And after they had searched and inquired, I'm sure Gideon was hiding in the fridge. In the fridge. They say, Gideon, the son of Joash, has done this thing. I don't know who told them, maybe one of the ten friends. <laughs> don't always think your friends are your friends. Maybe some of them is a traitor. <laughs> maybe to survive, to save his own life. If I tell you who did it, can I stay alive? Yeah. You can kill Gideon in the nine hours. But then it was him. And the men of the town said to Joash, bring out your son that he may die. For he has broken down the altar of Baal and cut down the Ashira beside it. And Joash said to all who stood against him, who will contend for Baal? 
Баалын төлөө хэн та та нар тэмцэх үү? Or will you shame him? Эсвэл та та нар түүнийг аврах уу? Whoever contends for him shall be put to death by morning. Баалын төлөө тэмцэх чинь өглөө хэд алдах болно. Baal is a god let him fight for himself. Хэрэв Баал бурхан юм бол тэр өөрийнхөө төлөө тэмцэх нэгний болох гэж хэлсэн юм. I mean maybe he don't was shot. Daddy. Тэр шаман бас нар хаавай. Now we will die together. A lot of crucifixions will happen. Tavlat rokhun de. Me, my friends, my dad, my grandfather, my mother, we will all die. Hatta meich baar hurt tavlat. Now this is serious. These people were offering people to the God, to the false God. Yeah, because in whom is the Lord? Who is the one 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 who is the
When I was introduced to him, I was thinking, I don't know him. Why should I join him? So I went for a He's part of the contract. I was not used to that. Small detail. I joined and I wrote to him. He said, we have a conference in June. You will be there. He didn't ask me to be there. He said, well, you will be there. And I was thinking, <laughs> who are you to tell me? When to go, where to go, how to go. I have without you until now. <laughs> then I wrote to him. I said, oh, you know, I have already some appointments booking. Then he replied, be there. That all spirit of rebellion came out. <laughs> <laughs> and then I said, Yeah, maybe I will come two days because I have some appointments. <laughs> we fly back. Be there at the first session. <laughs> and stay until the last session. <laughs> That was a high demand. For the way I was trained. I was not trained like that. I was trained as a Christian pastor. You come when you come and you leave when you leave. Blessed be the name of the Lord. <laughs> the Lord gave, the Lord took, blessed be his name. We always did that. One day later, two days later, we left two days before the end of the conference. But he, first session, last session, and God said to me, you just calm down because I want to make you a foreigner. So you cancel the appointments you are there in the first session and you said in the last session be a good boy. Yes. Today I'm so thankful because I was not trained like that. We train our young people and their lives are already doing so much better than I did. Even as a For them, it's of course. That's the way it is. If you want to be serious, yes. I mean, we meet at the job at the right time. When you go to your work, you meet at the right time. You don't show up. Boss ask you why are you so late? You know, I just come when I come. He must say, you can go again. I will find somebody else. We should be more serious with God. He wants to train us with some discipline in our lives. Some order, you know, disorder. Why? Because he wants to reproduce us. Why reproduce an undisciplined person? That's why we teach our children. Time to go to school. I'm not finished my breakfast. Don't care about your breakfast, you leave now. School is more important than breakfast. Tomorrow you rise earlier from your bed. 
God will be cool too. <laughs> Because he wants to reproduce you. This tiny can get ashur at a good chuchu. Face high demons. Get ready for that. Enjoy your coffee. Coffee was half over. That's a very low demand. Much tall was half over shame. All right. 15 minutes. 8 15, you go back. Foreigners face high demands. So God is not unfair. He does not ask high things without giving you what you need. I don't think Gideon had taken up that challenge if he had not spoken with God, had a conversation with him for a while. Гидиан бурхантай тэгж дотно харилцаагүй байсан бол энэ шалгуурыг дав чадахгүй байсан. Майнор хав тэгэн ит. Дав чадахгүй байсан. That's why intimacy is so important. Тийм учраас энэ дотно харилцаа маш чухал. Intimacy with God at home. Гэртээ бурхантай дотно харилцаа. Intimacy with God in the church. Сүм дотор бурхантай дотно. In the worship. Махтаалт. Not only in the worship. Зөвхөн махтаалт дотно. Also in the message. Because in the message God's word is. What God's word is, God is. He is the word. Amen. So we need that times of intimacy. And you could say intensity, that's another way. I like the word intensity. Because the word intimacy can become a little bit sentimental. Oh, I mean, God's intimacy. Accuse him, accuse his mother. Uh, 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 uh. But he's my father. Yeah, but I'm the baby. So I like intensity. And intimacy, good words. We need both. Like we have two legs to walk. So we need intimacy and intensity. Okay. That's why he could face the high demands. Verse 33. Now all the Midianites and the Amalekites and the people of the east came together, crossed the Jordan, and encamped in the valley of Jezreel. So now more of the contract is delivered. First, the parents, especially the father's religion, that face that. No wonder they were suffering under the enemies. When people were serving Baal in their homes. How can God intervene? So God had to send him to the core of the matter. Destroy so that was one word in the contract. He discovered, ouch. I will have problems with my dad after this. But number two, the whole village came after him. Number three, All the Midianites and Amalekites came around him. So this one mighty man of valor and then all kinds of tsunamis are taking place. First the father, then the village, and now all the enemies are there. And Gideon is there standing with fear in his heart and thinking, me, Matt, let me close this. 
That's my wife, but not now. <laughs> so, so he was just there, you know. High demand. It seems to be, it seems to be like it grows higher and higher. <laughs> First the father, then the whole village. And now, the guys in Midianites, God is raising the, the waves higher and higher. And poor little Gideon is standing there alone. Middle of the storm and the lightnings and the waves. Oh my. You know, God was with him. And God was about to raise the foreman. Amen. Amen. Are you in? So, don't don't fear, and if you fear, it's okay. Do what you have to do. Sometimes we fear, fear, or we fear. As a young man, I fear conflict. I mean, who likes conflict? Nobody. That could be a problem if you really like conflicts, then you have a problem. <laughs> so conflicts, oh, 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 no. let, me, let me find a way around, or oh, either or over. <laughs> but I had to find out that such a thing, you have to take by the horn and say, okay, I will do that. I will address that issue in my life. I will address that issue in my couple life. I will address that issue in my finances. Take the bull by the horn. Because God wants to make me a forward. And I have to know what to do. Because that will be the model for others to do what to do. Or the lives, with the finances, with the marital tensions, or, or whatever. So, number three. They walk where they have never walked before. Just got an SMS from America in the break. The pastor from Sri Lanka. And he asked me to mentor him. And I was, praise the Lord, hallelujah. Until he said he had 6,000 members. Then all the praise of the Lord, hallelujah, disappeared. <laughs> I demand. And I said, God, I have to say yes to that. And if I tell him I have 65 uh -huh. members, he might think, oh, no, man, I'm not interested. So they said to tell him, first time I met him, you know what? I have, six, I have 65 members. You have 6,000. You want me to help you? Yes, yes. that's why I contacted you. Yes. Help it. 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 Help and I went to Facebook, listened to him. Oh, he preaches better than me. I tried to And he has healings every Sunday. My last healing was. <laughs> she died. <laughs> That's another way of healing people. Send them home. <laughs> because they're, 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 
no sickness in heaven. So when they enter heaven, whoa, cancer is gone, headache is gone, depression is gone, even the tears in your eyes are dry. You join the angel and sing the praises and worship. Oh, hear them, God, hear them. When I saw that, I think, what can I tell him? Looking for a message, you know. Maybe a right shine. Maybe the <laughs> Of the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. <laughs> but then I went. And I spoke. And he said, I want that. Did you ask you know, how many members you have now? 66, 67, or 65? Actually, you won it, so 64 now. I didn't. I felt like in a, the, the wrong person for the job. I think Gideon felt the same. I'm not the one. Even after the fleece miracle, I'm not the right one. Thank you for making the miracle for me. Nice. I will tell my children, grandchildren about the fleece the water. But that assignment they walked where they had had never walked before. Had Gideon fought anybody before? Not one. Maybe a chicken or a cow. <laughs> he was living in a farm. So, you know, never kill anybody. Never. <laughs> just so the media needs come in, take the harvest, and go out. <laughs> you after you. Young, young, did nothing. So he had never walked that walk before. Joshua. Joshua. When God when he took over after Moses. God said to him, my servant Moses is dead. I mean, everybody knew. Just to make him conscious that you are the foreman. Someone Moses is dead. You take this nation into the land. Cross the Jordan. Get in there. The Bible says in Joshua chapter 3, I think, Joshua quote it well. Joshua. Joshua rose early in the morning and they set out, they set out from Shittim and they came to the Jordan. He and all the people of Israel and lodged there before they passed over. Ингээд Яошуа өглөө ирчлэн босоо тэр Израилийн бүх хөвгүүдийн хамт шидэмэс хөдлөн Яордын луу ирж гатлахынхаа өмнө тэндээ хоног. Can you imagine the situation? Та энэ нөхцөл байдлыг төсөөлж байна уу? Moses is gone, you are on. 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 Deep waters. You are there. The whole people in the, is there. Cross over. Okay. 
worship. Oh, the first breakthrough worship evening. Whoa, God help me. Then the second one came three months later. Shaking. God was there. Whoa, fantastic people said, Whoa, this is, this is the best thing we have done for years. Then we had the third one. Nothing happened. We were singing until we sweat. Our shirts were wet. Nothing worked. Try another song. Sing louder, Drop the music, just the everything, nothing But that was a good lesson. Because without him, we cannot walk this walk. So I needed that. Alright. Did you get it? Yeah. If you take one more, then I think we'll stop here for tonight. Because tomorrow we have to leave early in the morning. So tonight I need a good night. I had a bad night. Tonight I need a good night. So I will let you go a bit earlier. Is that okay? There we see strength. Let's go back to Gideon. Gideon is such a good man. So we went through Joshua, now we have a look at Gideon. Um, Thursday, we'll look at Elijah. I will show you things. It will bless you. Motivate you. It said to be conscious. Yes, it's okay. Even, Even sometimes I will not know the work. Even sometimes unexpected challenges, I want to be, make me a fall. Because I don't, I don't want just to live for myself. I want to have children, next generation, to have the legacy of them. Okay, verse, verse 34. But the Spirit of the Lord clothed Gideon, and he sounded the trumpet, and the obvious rites were called out to follow him. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So the Spirit of God came upon him. That's what Jesus said in Acts chapter 1. Stay in Jerusalem. The Spirit of God will come upon you. And you will receive strength. Amen. Amen. When the Spirit will come upon you, you shall have power. You will receive power. 
So he, the Spirit of God, came upon him. Blew the trumpet. People came. That's a challenge. I mean, the Midianites were a challenge. I know that. But this is a challenge too. When all the Abbey's rights. Heard the sound of the trumpet and came to him. I don't know how many hundreds or many thousands. I don't have time to check up things like that. And they came to him. They said, Here we are. What do we do now? It was a big challenge. I said, that's a big challenge. <laughs> he said, well, you know, I just blew the trumpet. Yeah. <laughs> Who asked you to come? I just blew the trumpet. <laughs> God, I just blew the trumpet. <laughs> I did nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they all come here. That, that was an unexpected challenge. <laughs> but he received strength. In verse 35, he sent messages throughout all Manasseh, and they too were called out to follow him. And he sent messengers to Asher, Zebulon, and Naphtali. They went up to meet them. Oh my goodness. Then come the whole fleece thing. Because I can imagine the men panicked. Just blew the trumpet. <laughs> and people <laughs> God, what happened? <laughs> Please, I have to check <laughs> you one more time. <laughs> I understand. I understand Gideon. But that's that's the that's the root of the fallen. That's why we understand we cannot make it without him. It's not possible. We, we can have meetings without him, we can have worship without him, we can have prayer without him, we can have church without him, but this you cannot without him. I, I mean, ask yourself. If suddenly, after one message on the internet radio where Pastor Baggy speaks 25 minutes, maybe. The following Sunday, there is a queue outside there, people coming up here. Pastor Baggy will look. Pastor Baggy Haras. Where did they come from? In whose hands were they? We all heard you yesterday. Now we're here. We said, Come to me. All are tired and burning. I can say that Jesus said that. All the way down the stairs, all the way down the street, all the way down the pavement. 1,500 people. Whoa! Can we call that an unexpected challenge? Yes. His prayer life will go to a higher place. on the floor and go, help me. I just spoke on the internet right that's why he just blew the trumpet. Boom. Unexpected challenge. Things like that will happen. Things like that has have already happened. It will bubble history. Sometimes even before the preacher came to the city. 5,000 people have come together. I've read, because I have some books, I've read that some preachers didn't tell people where they were going. To avoid the crowd. 
I will place myself. I will position myself. Make me shape me. Replace disorder with order. Help me to fix my finances. I don't want to have debts anymore. I'm fed up with debts. Help me. Help our couple life. Help us fix the tensions and the disagreements. Because there are people waiting for me to position myself for that. It's not just because of me, it's because of them. Are you listening to me? Amen. So the question is, where are you? Where are you? Okay. Receive strength to overcome unexpected challenges. How do you think Peter and the company, mm -hmm. when 3,000 just came to them and said, here we are? Peter was not fully natural to their work man of Hungary, but the Hurator said, as you spoke, can you get a chance to start Hurator said, we realized. It is a shock. That we have killed the one we were waiting for. We have been waiting for him for centuries. Yeah. And when he came, we killed him. We got that. We, we, we have to change. Please help us. What should we do? That was an unexpected challenge. After that, daily they came. Teachers. Oh, well, no, 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 here. Here I, this is my wife. These are our children. This is our money. We are ready to go. Where do we go with this? God told us to walk. We are walking now. That's unexpected. I mean, they are hiding behind closed doors of because of fear. For days. And our people are Running to them. Running for anything that you think it be It's not like church. Church people are not ready for anything. Never ready for anything. So the apostles spoke every day. And they devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching. And they visited one another in their homes. Nobody arranged that for them. It was not like Tamara and Ma, you visit Egi and you visit her and you visit them. What a great church we have. No, nothing was organized. It was a design in their hearts. It was even a delight in their hearts. Let's go and visit them. Let's invite two or three to our home. It was that hunger, that fire in their hearts. Unexpected challenge. I mean, if it happened to our church, I would be in shock. To be honest with you, because we're not there yet. 
бид нар хараахан тэр төрсөнд очоод we want to get there бид нар очмоор байна we are on the way to there очих замдаа явж байна god will take us there бурхан бид нийтийн дагаа ч the god needs somebody to be a forerunner бурхан өмнө гүх хин нэгэн хэрэгтэй байна and as long as we say not me go who's her if you don't have Тэгэхээр гэтэл бид нар бурхан минээ бий биш түүнийг ашиглаа гэж бүгдээрээ бий бий зүгээр төсгөө дахин бол хизээ чи энэ болохгүй. Somebody must see me. Хин нэгэн заа гэж хэлэхсэн. The question is where are you? Тэгээ миний асуултаа хаа мэн. In this. I know you sit on the chair. Тэгээ тааны хаан сууж байгаа гэж харж байгаа л да. Where are you? Where am I in this? Би энэ дотор хаа мэн. Та энэ дотор хаа мэн. I'm 71. Би 71 настай. Conscious of my sons and daughters. Би өөрөө хүүхэд автодэг юм. Conscious of some people who are not my sons and daughters but I'm a mentor for them that is pastor there. Надас зүйлгээ авдаг хүмүүс хүмүүсийг би мэднэ. So I will be a forerunner for them. Тэр би тэдний хувьд өмнө хөөгчөнд байх болно. Even I have 65, maybe 64, I don't know when I get home maybe 63. Жаран юусэн бэ? We have 65 members. А за манас өмнө 65 гишүүдтэй байсан ч гэсэн. When I get home we are only 61. Намаг гэртээ харахад 61 болцсон байж ч магадгүй. You never know. Бид нар мэдэхгүй шүү дээ. Come and go check in check out this hotel. Тэг Христ чич чинь хурч ирээл check in хийгээл check out хийгээл явж ирээл. Most of them don't even pay the bill. Ихэнх нь нөгөө төлбөрөө төлөхгүй шүү дээ яваад өгч. But I said yes, I will do for. Гэтэ би бурхан хэлсэн. Тэгээ би өмнө хөөгч байна. I cannot force myself on anybody. Би хин хин нэгний хүчилж чадахгүй. But if somebody wants to use me as a phone, I will be there for them. Би хин нэгний миний араас дах гэж хүчилж чадахгүй. Гэхдээ миний араас дахах хүсэлтэй хин нэгэн байгаад би тэдний төлөө өмнө хөгчнө яах вэ? So that's where I am. Тэр би өөрөө бол ийм байсан юм байна. Харин та хаана. Are you in this church? Та энэ сүмд байна уу? Yeah, why are you in this church? Байгаа бол яагаад энэ сүмд байна? Is it to be trained as a phone? өмнө хөөгч болж бэлтгэлтийн тулд оо. Then that's good news. Тийм болов сайн мэт байна. Then be trained. Тэгвэл бэлтгэл дээ. Be there every Sunday. Be here every Sunday. Бүтэсэн өдр болох юм дэр. Because that's what it happens. Энд чи бэлтгэл сургалт явах юм. Өргөн дотор. That's the role, that's the role number one of the church. Is to train followers. Сүмийн нэгдүгээр одоо үүрэг даалгавар юу вэ гэхээр өмнө хөвчтэй бэлтгэх. So you can be out there from Monday to Saturday. Та тэгээд нэг төдрөөс бүтэсэн өдр хүртэл сүмээс өөр газар авч. Kingdom standard. Kingdom standard тэгээд хаанчлын амьдралыг тэгээд. Compassion. Kingdom truth. Хаанчлын сайхан сэтгэл, хаанчлын өнөг тэгээд. Amen. Kingdom strength. Хаанчлын хүчийг тэгээд. Kingdom joy. Хаанчлын баяр Kingdom peace even in storms. Шуур салхичуурын дунд ч гэсэн хаанчлын амар тайны тийж байна. When people go through storms they are shaken. Хүмүүс шуурган дундуур туучихтай өөхөр чичтэй. Тань руу харна. Maybe they know your storms. Таны бас шуур шуурган дундуур явж байгаа чинь тийхөө. Гэтэл таны нүүр нүүр царай амар тайн байгаа гэдэг тараад. Then they think. Ингэж болно. Where does that peace come from? Энэ амар тайн хаан сэрдэг юм бэ? Мөнөг энэ амар тайн. I know they might have struggles and they have struggles. Maybe they have struggles. Тэр яа пис. Тэр нэр юм зөрчилтэй амартай яаж яа юм тайм бэ гэх юм бол. We know the prince of peace that's why. Яа тэр бид нар амар тайны хөвтэйж юм мэдсэн. Actually we don't only know him we walk with him. Тэр дэр түүний мэдээ зогсохгүй түүнтэй хамт алхахтай юм. And he's shaping our lives. Тэр тэр бидний амьдралыг хэлбэл. Father heaven we thank you. Тэнгэр дэр эцэн минь тань талархах юм. Because we will answer the question. Бид тань асуулт нь тариулах болно. Where are you? Чи хаа нэр вэ? Adam where are you? Adam ache hane. Gideon where are you? Gideon ache hane. David where are you? David ache hane. Moses where are you? Moses ache hane. Same questions. Ach hane asof to tsa. Are you today in this week? Unu ter chiksin bitin dey asof to ischen. Father, I hope you will have many yes from this church. Tain sumes olon tiime gisna harul bach bolt ba. Amen. A new consciousness. Whoa, this is not only about me. Зөвхөн энэ надаар дуусах юм биш юм байна гэдгийг тойрлуулах юм. Сувар май чилдрен, май гранчи, май ачцэнэр. Сувар май коллегс ат ворк. Миний хамт олон. Сувар май ко студентс ат юниверситэ. Миний их сургуулийн оюутнууд. Сувар май фрэндс. Миний айс нөхөд. А плэй видео геймс уив. Сувар дэм. Ти миний хамтдаа видео тоглоом тоглодог найзууд. Can I be a former of you? Тэдний төлөө би өмнө хөвч болох хэрэгтэй. Oh god, I'm shaking. Бурхан миний би өмнөхөр чиччих чинь. 
The thought makes me shake. Энэ бодол намайг чичрүүлж байна. But I'm willing. Гэхдээ би хүсэж байна. It's better to do the right thing with fear than the wrong thing with courage. Зүв зүйлийг айгаад ч хамаагүй хийх нь буруу зүйлийг зоригтой хийхээс дээр юм аа. So let God speak to you this week. Тэр энэ төлөө нь бурхан тантай яриа. God speak to you tomorrow there is no meeting. Маргааш бид нар цуглахгүй ч гэсэн бурхан. You can have a meeting with him tomorrow. Та гүнтэй хамт маргааш цуглаа. You can have a evening with him. Гүнтэй хамт өрөө өнгөрөөх. 10 minutes, 20 minutes. 10 minutes, 20 minutes. Be an hour with him. Цагийг ч юм уу. Intimacy and intensity with him. Түүнтэй дотно бөгөөд эрч хүчтэй харилцаа өрнөлөх болоо. Аа тэр тал дахь. Та үнэхээр сайн хэцэг юм аа. Амин. Амин.